Okay, we want to get a store uh, all set up so that we're ready to start selling. So in these videos, we're going to cover the minimum things that we need to do just so we can get the store to the point where we can start to sell. And of course, we'll cover the other um, things in greater detail in the members area. So uh, let's get started. When you sign in with uh, Shopify and you get into the free trial, uh, they're going to ask you for basic information. You'll fill that out and when you log into your Shopify store you'll find that things are already pre-populated with that information. And let's go right here on the left hand side. Let's click on settings and of course we're in the general tab right here and you'll see that the information is all filled out. Uh, you will have to put in a store name uh, your account email so that Shopify can send you notifications and your customer email this should be a business email address it should be based on um, on a domain and the business that you're operating under you'll have to put that in and the rest of this information is already here if you need to make changes you can go ahead and do that you can set your time zone and you can set the system that you're going to be selling in. We're using Imperial because we're selling in the US. And make sure you click on the Save button. I'll just do that right now. The next thing we're going to do is go to the Payments tab. And by default, it's going to accept only PayPal. When you have time, you can go and set up the Shopify payments, and then you can accept credit cards, and Shopify will make the deposits right into your bank account. But for the purpose of this uh, video series, we're just going to accept PayPal for now. And if this isn't the PayPal address that you want to use, just click on the Edit button. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is go over here to Checkout. And let's go through the settings. Accounts are disabled. Um, require first and last name. I like that one checked. Company name. I like to leave it hidden, but you can leave it on optional if you like. Um, address line number two. I leave that as optional. Uh, phone number. I leave it as hidden. If you need to collect their phone number, you can actually put on here optional or required. Uh, while the customer is checking out, use the billing address as the shipping address. I leave that checked. Um, I check this one. Customer agrees to receive promotional items or emails by default. I want to build a list of my buyers so or even the people that abandon the cart. So leave this one checked and do not automatically fulfill orders. We want to do that ourselves. And I'm going to leave this unchecked. And uh, you can check your, your store language. Mine's in English. And that is it. If you've made any changes, make sure that you hit the Save button up here. And the next thing that we want to do is just quickly set up some shipping rules. Now, if you want to set up shipping by item, so each item has its own shipping rate, you'll have to use a better shipping app, and that will be covered in detail in the members area. Uh, for now, we just want to set up some basic shipping rules. If the fulfillment is being done in the US, uh, you want to change your shipping from email address or uh, shipping address, click right here on edit. And if you want to add another country, just click here on add shipping zone. And you can see here that you can start to put in, put in United States. And if there's some states you want to remove, you can remove them right here. And you can call this, uh, this is just a zone name, so we'll just call this one United States. And you can add more right here. Anyway, we'll just click on Save. And we now have the United States. And of course, we can click on this to add our shipping rates, like we've done here for heavy, uh, heavy goods, 
Uh, you could have um, medium uh, weight and you could have lightweight. So if you had things like uh, jewelry, you could have those as lightweight items. T-shirts could be standard shipping and crock pots or you know, things that are heavier, you could put under heavy and you can set your rates right here. You just have to click on each item here and you can actually go right in and make your adjustments right here. And then just make sure you click on save. And that's all we really have to do at, at this point for our settings. And we'll see you in the next video.